Yeah, okay. So I, I think we'll start. Um, the idea is that uh, we use this last session here to, yeah, actually it's about learning <laughs> from what we have learned uh, from this uh, experience. Uh, I would like to maybe take five minutes or so to uh, present uh, what we actually did in order to facilitate communication in different languages. Uh, and then the idea was and is to ex exchange uh, experiences from the participants and then maybe also discuss uh, what options you have in your organization because this language business is not so easy in, uh, in, in hybrid settings. So let me just start to tell you what we actually did in this event. We, we had three features to uh, facilitate communication. One was, it was yesterday, it was simultaneous translation by human translators. Uh, today, we had uh, subtitles and transcript in MS Teams. I'll come to that later. And then we had a separate language session. So we had one English track, obviously. Uh, basically, uh, concerning uh, language communication, we have synchronous options. So that is uh, human translation. And also, if you use a web conference system, uh, that produces subtitles or uh, captions, then you can have these subtitles and captions in your preferred language. And you can do asynchronous, um, you have asynchronous options that uh, you do transcripts of your session and you do a summary in your preferred language. That's also what you can do. And I would like to talk a little bit about uh, all of these options. So, for live translation, uh, there is actually two web conference systems where it's, where it's really easy. It's Zoom and it's WebEx because you can invite dedicated translators and you can, as a participant, choose what language you want to listen to and then you just click on the, uh, on the right button. In MS Teams, it's, uh, this option is available in the settings. The thing is, we didn't get it uh, set up. Yeah. It just didn't work. And there, I, I heard rumors uh, for, from some people of actually only one here who said, yes, it worked with SAP. We, we tried it, but I have not heard uh, a single person who actually succeeded in setting it up. So, uh, I mean, we have people here who are quite uh, uh, capable of uh, handling such things and we simply did not get it done. So we had, a, uh, had to have a plan B. And the plan B is that we use two tools, um, the um, two human um, translators listened in, in Teams. So they were um, actually they were locked in in the same uh, Teams session that we were locked into. And there was the Discord, and the Discord, we had a dedicated translation channel, and that's where they spoke. Yeah, So that's, that's a bit difficult, a bit, a bit cumbersome for them. Uh, and we also asked them to do a separate recording. So we will have a, a, um, a combined video of the two languages uh, later in the, in the post-production. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how we, uh, that's, that, that was our plan B. Hello. Hi. Welcome. So for the simultaneous translation in this Discord, there is the channel on the left-hand side, and we had two live uh, translators, that was Hilla and Harriet, and who did the translation, and you see that you can set up this channel in, in uh, Discord so that you have you, you have two people on the stage, Hilla and Harriet, and the others just can join by uh, uh, by listening in mode only. And that worked quite well. And you see people are coming, dropping out, and coming back. So, but for the setup, actually, uh, it worked, and there is very little time difference between the spoken language and the translation. We really discovered that worked that worked well. So that's how we did the uh, simultaneous translation. The second option uh, that was used today. Today we did not have simultaneous translation, but we could use 
the subtitles and uh, the captions. So that's the uh, AI option. And that works, uh, I mentioned it uh, this morning briefly. What you need to do is you go into your language uh, set settings, and then there are these three, um, these three dots and, uh, over more. And when you click on them, you change language and speech and you turn on and turn off uh, uh, live captions there. And then you go on the bottom to this little uh, wheel down there in the settings. And then you can choose the spoken language and you can choose the language of uh, the caption that you want to see in, the, in, this, uh, in this session. Okay, so and there are several languages that you that you can choose, and we have this in this uh, in the room here as well. If you see, if you see, there are the captions uh, on the bottom. So the language that we set up is English, and the captions are in German. So it's simultaneous translation right here. Okay, and for the onlineers, uh, so and, and everyone can set up these settings in their own um, mm -hmm. MSTs, right? So, and this is how it works for the onlineers, if they can't see them. Yeah. So that's how it works. And I also noticed that... I'm, uh, Entschuldigung, um, yeah. just a question. Um, yes. So if I go to this language and speak and speech, sorry, I'm a bit slow always. Um, and then yeah. I go to turn off live captions or to turn on speaker coach. I didn't no, get no, that one. No, no, not, not, not speaker coach, live captions. No, exactly. On, I go yeah. on turn off live captions, right? No, on, on, you turn on. on. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, on, okay. And then, and how and do then I then do there, there is the little wheel on the bottom. And there you can. Ah, okay, the settings. That's what. Uh, okay, and then yeah. I can uh, select German as it's selected exactly. at the moment. Uh, okay, and then what I see, what I see then in the, in the well, for me it's below yeah. the the That's screen right. sharing. That should yeah. be German then. Yeah. Okay. And every person can use their own language. So yeah. if you have a okay. multilingual team, everyone can turn on their own subtitles okay okay but for me whatever language you speak yeah. if i select german it should come out in german and i what exactly. i read yeah. i can well uh, evaluate to what i would consider german okay yeah. then there's still a way to yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. okay so, thanks so what you what i also discovered is that there is already uh, ai integrated so you suddenly notice when you start uh, let me just show that to you. You can see it. It starts, and then it suddenly it corrects. So it listens to you. And yeah. when when this, the, the, the AI thinks that you meant something differently, it corrects. <laughs> and sometimes it corrects to the better, sometimes to the worse. So <laughs> it's still... Yeah. Yeah. So, so right now, the subtitles uh, we see here, yeah. it's, uh, it's not German. Kind of a mixture, yeah. And I think yeah. Have a different language. The spoken language is English, and the translated language should be German. Yeah. But it's not. Right. Oh no, no. Then, the, then, then someone, someone changed the settings. Perhaps let me just check yeah. that. Okay. But I, mean, I, I agree what, to what I just heard. It, I, I can see that it should be somehow no, German. Language. Your spoken language is in German. Someone, someone changed that. <laughs> So ah, maybe to, I, I did that wrongly. Okay. Chinese. Now, the spoken language is English, and the I should see it still in German. Um, and then I would see it's, it's also my experience in other in other contexts. There's still a way to go for uh, AI. Um, yeah, but it's I mean this this option is cheap. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's, I, I think it's quite amazing, the quality actually. Uh, okay. Where did I put, let me, let me put it on French. Is it um, with French US, uh, English US, okay. Spoke, update, spoken language. Yeah, okay, let me update. 
and and now just to, to just to understand it correctly, what you update now is the setting for you. So if I uh, remain with the German, I should still see now that in German and you may be in French, right? Exactly, exactly. It's okay. Better. Yeah. So the quality has improved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think well, Microsoft still has to work on some things. Personally, I would suggest that they would put in a, a longer time lag. Because actually for the audience, it would not matter uh, if you are three or four or five seconds behind. But then the quality yeah. would improve because it corrects itself and that makes the read, the, it, it, it's, bet, it's readable, it's better readable. Uh, and the other okay. thing they definitely would need to do is that they enlarge the part of the screen where you have the captions. Because yeah. sometimes uh, it's a bit yeah. uh, fast. But, and yeah. I also have to admit now, uh, maybe I, I did something wrong now that it's uh, where that the settings are clearer or whatever you did to yeah. the to the start. It, I see a different quality. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you can use, uh, providing your um, company or your organization. Uh, allows you to do that. Huh? So this is MS Teams Premium. Uh, so whatever you have, you can do it or you cannot. <laughs> Maybe also one hint for um, accessibility or digital inclusion. I don't know if you can hear me well. Um, you can also change the caption settings and make it bigger. So in yeah. case you have visual impairment or um, mm -hmm. you need higher contrasts or yeah. whatever, um, this is also doable. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the inclusion part uh, is uh, already quite advanced because that's that's what they take care of, yeah. All right, so um, you see it from yesterday. And now I come to the next part, what you also can do. And that these are the asynchronous solutions. So, uh, asynchronous solution meaning you can upload the, the, the session in your SharePoint, in your stream. And then what you can do after you have uploaded, you can do a transcript. Yeah. Um, for the whole session, I did it yesterday. You see the 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 uh, Los Con Bühne Besprechungsaufzeichnung from from the um, from the keynotes. It took one hour to transcribe the whole one hour session. Yeah, one and so and my and my question, the transcribe yeah. uh, is about the words that have been spoken. So it was a recorded session and then the words spoken, they were translated or transcribed within this one hour. Exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it takes the, the, MS, uh, um, the SharePoint takes one hour approximately to, to do the transcript, yeah, to provide the transcript. And then what you can do is that you download the transcript. You, can, you have two download options. You can download as a Word document, or you can down it, download as a VTT, that's for uh, audio uh, subtitles. But most of the time, I think you would uh, download it as a uh, doc. And now it gets really interesting. If you have downloaded as a, a doc, you can copy that part and I did this, for instance, with uh, Simon Ducat's um, speech um, that he did uh, on um, the Gestaltung von Lernumgebungen. And I put it in ChatGPT. And I put a prompt in ChatGPT: Bitte gebe eine Zusammenfassung des folgenden Vortragstextes in deutscher Sprache. Es geht um die Gestaltung von Lernumgebungen. Der Text ist ein Transkript einer MS Teams Session. Ignoriere die Zeitangaben in den einzelnen Abschnitten. And then I pasted the 15 minutes transcript into ChatGPT. And of course the transcript is longer than, than the, the lines that you see on this screen now. And this is 
the, um, yeah. the result. Okay, so that's the summary of the whole 15 uh, minutes, what we see now. Yeah, so and now oh, you can okay. also you can also tell it, bitte die Zusammenfassung, uh, bitte gib die, you can even make mistakes, bitte gib die Zusammenfassung in englischer Sprache wieder. That's the next prompt. And then you have the presentation mm -hmm. summary in no. English. And then you can say, gib die Zusammenfassung in französischer Sprache wieder. And then you have it in French. Yeah. Wow. And this is just from this one simple prompt. So, and I, I didn't tell it, I didn't tell the system any details that I want to log in. And I think the, the quality of the, of, the, uh, of the summary is better than the quality of the transcription. Yeah. So, so this system really thinks. <laughs> Okay, I did the same, okay. by the way, with this um, talk. So that, uh, is, that is really an, uh, an encouragement from your experience, even though it, it's just the start, but I, I hear an encouragement to try that out because it does really um, value added in this, in this whole process as you described, it, especially in the end. I work yeah. in an international company where we have so many people in country A, B, C, D, E, F, yeah. And then you could have a, a, a summary for those who exactly. maybe not um, English savvy exactly. for, for whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Wow. exactly. Yeah. So I did the same with uh, this, this other uh, talk that we had on the influence of learning environments on our mindset. Okay. I also did the transcript as described. And then I put it in chat GPT again. And Fasse bitte das folgende Transkript des Vortrages and so on. And this is the result. Yeah, 20 lines of <laughs> interesting part is Ruben betritt die Bühne und bedankt sich bei Simon für die Einleitung. Er teilt ein persönliches Beispiel <laughs> dafür, wie er sich mit dem Thema Epigenetik befasst hat. Er erzählt uns von seiner Angst vor Wespen und so weiter. Also, okay, so you can elaborate even more on that if you would like to. Wow, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, what I wanted to uh, tell you about what we thought, how we could provide uh, facilitation methods to, uh, for, for language facilitation in this setting. So my, my question to you is, of course, what do you do? Yeah? How do you manage language, understanding <laughs> different languages in meetings and events? And the second question is, what do you think could be implemented in your organization. Okay, so I, sh I stop sharing my screen, okay? And then I think we can have a, a discussion. Well, well, with us, as I said, this is an international company. Everything, if there's one non-German speaker, it's English, always English. If, if you're a community of the same native speaking people, then it's the, 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 the language of the country, and there is, it stays. Um, I, I, and this is not my uh, field of expertise, this whole technical environment, but what you just uh, described, I, I, in the moment, see, we do international webinars, like for the whole company all over the world, we do webinars on whatever, and they always record it. So I could immediately see that we try this out, this five or six steps as you explained them, and because there's a lot of discussion. Oh, should we have that in German, in French, in whatever, Italian? Some countries are more looking into their language than others. That is, uh, and then at least there's a summary and people know what they could uh, expect. Uh, so, yeah. I can only say it's an encouragement for me. I cannot share experience other than what I just said. Tja, what do you do? <laughs> um, um, so maybe for me it was um, a great approach to have a chat, chat GPT prompted with exactly um, the screen transcript. I haven't uh, made a connection before. 
Um, maybe Hans, you could share the exact prompt that you yeah. used yeah. in the Discord chat. Yes. Um, I can do that, but just to, to let you know, yeah. it's really simple. And the best approach is I have also done some, uh, I've, I've tried to learn something about prompting. Yes. Uh, and there are some, there are tons of uh, YouTube videos on how to yeah. create prompts. There is, there are even prompt engineers in the meantime. Yeah. It's, a, it's a profession, you know, but actually start simple and then start to talk with the thing. Yes. So it's a continuous iterative dialogue that you can have. Yeah? And so and I simply start, give me, give me a summary of the following text, and then you paste your text in there and you see what happens. Mm -hmm. And then you add some more mm -hmm. uh, refinement statements. Mm -hmm. So that's, but I, I will, I will put it in, uh, in, 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 in Discord, yeah. Yeah, I, I took already note that and exclude the time, uh, the timing, uh, as you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, and um, what else did I want to say? Um, I, and I understand correctly that prompting is the like the sort of technical term for uh, giving ChatGPT a task. Yeah, yeah, we have mm -hmm. to give. ChatGPT task. task. And it, what do you do? You I've done that a couple of times, but prompting is the word for it. Let's say prompt. Um, a prompt is a wording for a task that you yeah, give yeah. ChatGPT. Exactly. And uh, d uh, what you have been doing? Did you do that with the uh, free version in ChatGPT? No. You can do it with the free version. I have a paid version because I want to add. I wanted to have some more um, uh, uh, apps applications that are integrated in ChatGPT because we, for instance there is a there is an is an app that lets you summarize YouTube videos okay and, and then I have a can could you elaborate a bit on if that is okay for the others on your on your um, experience maybe you started a couple of times with the free version and the the yeah. um, now the the license and of course over time it makes sense also to buy to have a license yeah. uh, about the cost at least if if you're willing to share and whether uh, you, you mentioned one uh, one um, added value but maybe there are others uh, could you elaborate a bit on the difference? Well, the people say that it's faster if you have the paid version, so mm -hmm. you might wait longer for your response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But considering the time. Even in the un, in the unpaid version, if it mm -hmm. takes 15 seconds or if it takes <laughs> one, it actually doesn't doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. So I would think that's uh, neglectable. Yeah, but <laughs> there's this connecting dark. to other apps. That's that was your yeah. main then, main reason. Then you need then you need the paid version. But do start mm -hmm. with the with the unpaid version and then simply start prompting and learn how to iterate to yeah. talk. To communicate with the thing because the different the main difference between chat gpt or these language models and the and the and the usual web search is that you can actually talk to this thing yeah and how much is the or how much do you pay for the license or your company or your whatever setting do you know that approximately Maybe twenty to thirty euro uh, dollars euros. I'm, I'm, I would have to look it up. Per, but in that we per, 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 per month, per month, per month. Per month. Per okay. Month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's that's just an indication. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Please. Um, I would be interested how, in comparison to yesterday, as I got it, you had real persons yesterday yeah. who did the translations, and today was the the system. What? Did, did we have many guests or participants who used it? And do we already have feedback how the two systems worked and what was well? Was Ask better? the others first and then I can <laughs> say something. Yeah. I, I used all the features because I'm not a native speaker. Uh, I can tell you that the simultaneous translation was really good, very convenient. The only drawback here is that if there are any uh, technical instructions and now you open whiteboard and do 
this and that. If I haven't heard something, that's it. I missed the moment. I cannot look it up anywhere. <laughs> the only thing that helped me is that I, I do speak Germ German and I could look it up in the Discord and search the information in German. <laughs> With this uh, option today um, in MS Teams, that was a bit confusing to me because uh, it's live and it keeps correcting itself. So I, I read the sentence and I see it, it, it seems to be a bit strange, the, the meaning. Then I see that it starts correcting itself. And then I need to read it again and to understand it. So it was kind of you know, double mental work for me in this regard. But again, if I missed something, I could just scroll and reread the text again. That was really convenient. So these are the differences. Okay, thank you. Any other I'm a, I'm a native uh, I'm a native German speaker um, but I work in this international environment so I'm always seeking for English like the the um, the basis let's say and uh, yesterday came too late to my mind to to use it like that for me to instead of me translating everything that I then later will share uh, with my team uh, but when I did, it was really, yesterday was really great. Um, uh, what I heard today, uh, to be honest, I only trying this really up because I only understood everything now. And now what I see, of course, is in, in a German because that's then the translation. I could maybe speak, try out a different language. Just, and that I, I can um, fully buy into what Arinia is saying. Uh, that's a bit... Um, irritating even for me uh, to, I, I understand that it's quite it's quite advanced but it is it's quite a challenge with all the other because you also, also want to understand the content you want to discuss so on all these layers yeah my experience um, well of, of course I, we had very good feedback from the live translation yesterday uh, but I don't think that very many people really needed it. Yeah, so yeah. there were people in the channel all the time, more or less, maybe eight, maybe ten, maybe four, maybe two. Uh, but uh, most of the people just came in and see how is the quality of the translation, you uh -huh. know, because I don't know how many actually uh, non-speaking people we had in this whole system. And this morning we had a session with 48 uh, onliners and about 25 people in the room. And I think, almost think we could have had this session in German as well. It was more of a, an English practicing session than a real necessity of uh, being able to understand. So, but if you are in a real setting, um, I think uh, the live translation has two advantages. First of all, I think the automatic translation is still lacking or if you have a problem, if you have many people in the room, yeah. So um, a, a, a human translator can still detect better uh, what people are saying in the room. Um, that, that's still uh, a setback for the, for the artificial intelligence. Um, and I think if you have a, a very complex topic where an, a, an interpreter is actually preparing him or herself for the topic, you, uh, you have less mistakes with some technical, special technical words, uh, because the, the AI may not be able to look up uh, in the universe, <laughs> in the metaverse, all these words. Uh, and so the quality might be better, but, but live translation is expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have, if you have a longer session, you need actually two interpreters, live yeah. interpreters, because uh, obviously it's a very, uh, uh, very tiring. It's, a, yeah. it's very tiring and you have to be, you have to concentrate uh, very much. And so you have to take turns. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, even though I um, I just switched now because we're trying out to Spanish, I speak Spanish quite well, and that's uh -huh. actually now that I see that and uh, 
Uh, of course, I, I'm not I'm not a native speaker, so maybe there's a small error here and there. But basically, it's well, that's great for the conversation. As you, I mean, you rightly mentioned, it also depends on the level of the conversation. And we yeah. having a chat on a particular topic, not too complex, not too complicated, not too much technical words. Is great. What is your? Uh, are you translating that, Orinia? In any? What is your native language? Uh, my native language is Russian. I'm, I'm from Kazakhstan, uh, but no, I just translated everything in English. Ah, yeah. Maybe you. Maybe it will be interesting to see what you see if you select Russian. What you experience will be. And what I what I really discovered is, and this this is. I think what I will use it more and more is this uh, chat GPT summarizing function. Yeah. Because, because even if there are mistakes in the, in the uh, transcript, you know, the transcript is huge. It's 15 minutes. So the, the, the chat GPT has a lot of chance option to, to get the gist of what has been said in the meeting. Uh, so the summary is actually quite okay. Uh, so that is really yeah. interesting. And mind so you have you, read, you have read the you have read the summary and compared it to what you had understood yesterday. Well, the the summary compared to the trans to the to the actual yeah. uh, transcript. You know, you I read it because yeah. if, if okay. you read the transcript, you you must read it three times and to be able yeah. to. Understand but ChatGPT is smarter than you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and mind you, Microsoft has announced that they will add another la layer to this uh, thing uh, so, so that you can, in this transcript, uh, detect who uh, the persons. So, so, so they differentiate between the speakers. And in the summary, which is also provided by, uh, by the AI of Microsoft, you can tell this, the system, please, um, please extract or please um, extract only the summary from Barbara. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, so if you, are, if you have not been able to be part in that meeting, but you know that Barbara was in the meeting. I don't have to listen to one and a half hours and wait. Oh, there's Barbara again. What did she say? You know, you can distract this from uh, oh. from, from this. Uh, uh, yeah. So this they, they announced it. They have not implemented it, but it's yeah. It's just a matter of time. I can tell well. you. Like, I, I I've turned on uh, uh, Russian uh, mm -hmm. caption. It takes a bit longer to translate into Russian because I would I assume that grammar is quite different, different language group, right? Uh, and the quality, I would say, eighty to ninety percent is good and understandable. So you, be, so you would be, yeah, you would be able to kind of follow a conversation. More or less, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. But wow. when it's German English, it's much much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So there is still uh, learning, uh, but still, I mean, still, as as um, as Hans was saying, you you could grasp the idea of the conversation, yes. and you could maybe interfere to say, ah, here and there, I I would need maybe an extra comment or, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I can share that in, in our company, so our corporate language is English, but there are situations when we have meetings. So, for example, in Germany, so certain meetings are in German because it, they discuss legal things. Mm -hmm. And in this case, they say, no, we cannot do it in English because if it's legal, that needs to be very, you know, co correct. Mm -hmm. Because it, yeah. it may have consequences. And in this case, people are excluded. And I'm afraid that still this um, translation will not help. Yeah, because but you could try it out at least to, yeah. um, I mean, I also see that point that the more technical you get in your yeah. field, if it's legal, psychology, whatever, risk management, whatever else, um, then, of course, because this is more generic, 
but it will get there. I mean, that is inc even for me, I could see that happening, that it will build up, especially if I understand if you have a license, for example, for ChatGPT, there's something different, I know, but it learns with you, right? It learns, uh, Hans, is that, I don't know whether the, I see two women in, also in, the, in the room, I don't know whether you also have ChatGPT license, but it, it learns with you, that's what I heard, I'm not, I don't know. Uh, no, when you, you, you start a prompt, yeah. And everything that's in that prompt, if you continue this iterative uh, conversation, that is learning. But oh, then okay. it stops. And if you start another conversation, it did not, it does not, as uh, far as I know, it does not take okay. advantage of, of the previous okay. conversation. Okay. So it's not a, you cannot establish your own learning uh, system uh, yet. Okay. Yet. Not yet. Not yet, yet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it's quite definitely quite amazing. And to all these, well, I've been in this like you probably and for a time. So you you see how this, how we will overcome this more and more. We are not there yet, but yeah. Um, I'm also very curious what will be coming up with Microsoft Copilot. Yeah. Because that's also ChatGPT based. Um, yeah, technology mm -hmm. that will be rolled out from, yeah, I think, autumn um, this year, or uh, November might be. Um, and that's really, like, um, yeah, used in the work context. So meaning um, it can really give you summaries of uh, email strings that you get, like long emails, and you come back from the picture. And then uh, the technology says, okay, basically, this person A, B wants to introduce this. And then it can also generate your response and also um, generate this response in a certain way. So, for example, um, make the tone oh. neutral or make it friendly or, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, just also filter oh. out what's the tone of voice that the uh, correspondent uses. So this is also quite my oh. story. Um, and also just, um, for example, generate SharePoint pages um, on the basis of meeting notes also. So you just have a meeting and then you get an idea, you maybe want to develop product uh, XYZ and then it can already give out a SharePoint page and then with prompting you can also do these refinements. So like say, okay, please give me a Q&A as well on the page and then it gives you all that. So this is, uh, also, uh, yeah, something that will be quite um, disruptive. So, so this co Microsoft Copilot would then, um, you would then need to do even one or two steps less because you don't need to take everything and put it to ChatGPT, but it's exactly. within the whole system. Yeah. 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 Well, well. yeah, the the idea of Copilot is that. Um, AI is integrated in every in every application of Microsoft. So also in Word, also in PowerPoint, also in SharePoint, also in Teams, in every every application. Yeah. Okay, and 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 that is foreseen, or, or they announce it for November. autumn. Or I think, as you said, November. I think I have yeah. that in mind. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but then it will it will take time until it is rolled out. In, in all the in all the organization, what I learn uh, from from all of this conversation is uh, that it the the language part is only the second part. <laughs> so it's first of all like collecting an an information on some in 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 one language, but um, what we learn also is that translation is not a problem because that's just at the tip of your finger and you can translate all the results in any other language that you need. So I think that's, that's a huge uh, progress in, um, in, in the issue that we are talking uh, here about and that is uh, facilitating communication and understanding in international meetings. That's something to look forward to. Yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. definitely. And also, I don't know if we've already talked about it, but there's not only live transcripts, but also like a live um, translation of slides. So if someone shares something in PowerPoint Live, then you can also directly 
uh, translate that slide. So um, if you hover over the uh, shared presentation in PowerPoint Live, then it gives you um, this little translate okay. symbol. And there you can also select whatever language okay. you want. So it's I in PowerPoint Live. Already, you, yeah, if, if you have PowerPoint Live. That has been there for a long time. Yeah, that has been there for quite a while. Okay. Yeah. And you hover over what? You you receive the where the, the file, let's say, and then you hover over the file name or so um, let's assume someone shares um, something in PowerPoint Live. I don't know if um, I have an example, but then um, so for example, this is a um, yeah training, Kanban training, and now you uh, would see my screen. Mm -hmm. and if you hover over the um, presentation, then maybe Hansi can also show it for the three dots. Mm -hmm. oh, the three dots underneath the slide. Ah, on the and on the lower, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now not the upper three dots, but the ones uh, on the left. Um, ah, these, left yeah. Corner, okay. yeah. And there you should be able to see um, a translate slide, and then you can also select the language there. Oh, okay. So for example, okay, I, uh, uh, okay. Okay, PowerPoint <laughs> Live, yeah. Which, now, this doesn't change it because it's English already, but yeah. um, if I, for example, open this slide, which is in English, then you could try German or French or, um, okay. and then not, it gives you the same. Whoops. Yeah, it's quite it's this this keyboard is a bit difficult. Yeah. yeah. And now this doesn't. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. But not 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 in pictures. <laughs> yeah. Not not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. So is it the three points that I see on the slide on the yeah. on the shared screen? The the three points this dots one, yeah. on the this lower one. left yeah. side. See? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I I don't yeah. even know whether we have PowerPoints life but I find out. <laughs> Bearing experience, very good. Okay. Yeah, any other comments or should we come to a close? And because pretty soon we the closing yeah. Uh, yeah. session will start. Okay. So fine. Thank you. I would share yeah. uh, some more information in the Discord channel. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Thank you for yeah. taking part. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you in the big room yeah. later. Bye-bye. <laughs>